Hi everyone, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to make this parametric facade in Blender. As you can see we have this diagonal pattern with openings that get progressively bigger at the bottom of the structure. As you can see we can even animate the openings. It's all made in Geometry Node system with some simple nodes and it's not really that complicated. So if you want to make this parametric facade for your next architecture Blender project, let's jump with me to the new Blend file. So inside new blend file let's delete everything and let's add simple plane. In edit mode let's rotate it in Y axis by 90 degrees. And this will be the shape of our facade. So let's just maybe make it a little bit bigger, something like this. And now let's jump to geometry node network, create new geometry node system and let's call it parametric facade. Our first task will be to create even division on this uh, surface based on our module size. So I want the module to be the size of 1.5 meters to 0.5 meters. So let's do this. First I will create some curves. So let's add a curve line node. And let's duplicate it because we want one for Y axis and one for Z axis. So now we need to note the star and end points to match the size of our plane. And we have perfect node for that, attribute statistic. We need to know the dimensions, so let's use the position node. Let's change the type to vector, it's connected. Okay, and now we know the minimum and maximum position of our geometry input. So as you can see I want to play only with Z value to recreate our shape correctly. So let's use the separate XYZ node. And now we can use the combine XYZ node. Thanks to that we are get of rid of X and Y value. Let's connect it to Z. And minimum go to start. Duplicate it. Switch to maximum. And maximum go to end. If you go to the edit mode now. As you can see, if I scale our facade in the z-axis, the curve line match the size perfectly. Let's do the same thing for our y-axis. So let's duplicate everything and let's just switch y and unplug z. Let's connect it to the second curve node. And if I preview it now, as you can see, we have perfect representation of our input shape. So the last thing that we need to do is to just use curve to mesh node. So let's use curve to mesh node and let's plug our other curve as our profile. And as you can see, now we have the perfect match for our geometry. And we are doing it because I want to use the resample curve node. So if I go to wireframe view, as you can see, if I plug resample node, we can specify the length of our modules. So I want it to be 0.5 meter to 1.5. As you can see now we have automatic division for our parts. It's important to remember that Blender will try to create the module with this dimension, but if we set our width to 6 meter and apply the scale, as you can see we have exactly 4 divisions, but if we increase it a little bit, as you can see it's still for division because we need to increase a uh, far more to get five modules of this size. So it's, it's remember if you want exactly this size, you need to create the facade that have right size, which is multiplication of our base element size. Okay, so let's increase the size a little bit. Something like that. And now I would like to create this diagonal pattern and for that I would just like to scatter this rhombus-like elements. So let's create one. So we will start by creating a grid node and let's decrease the amount of subdivisions to two because I want to just have a simple square. Now let's rotate it using transform node. In Z axis by 45 degrees. Now the trick is to scale it right to match the size of our modules. So let's create the two value node because I would like to use the same value here and here. So let's paste the values. 
and let's plug it and let's get it here we can create a little bit of order by framing it and call it, it maybe base division back to our grid now we need to scale it to match the size that we are defining here so let's use another transform geometry but without the rotation and now we need to calculate it somehow so as you can see the square have the side of length one so the diagonal will be the size of square root of two we want the square root of two be size of 1.5 meters so we just need to divide 1.5 by square root of two so we actually need to divide our desired size by the diagonal length so let's first calculate the diagonal length again using the attribute statistic node so let's plug attribute statistic node and again we want to use the position so let's change the float to vector and let's plug our position node now i would like to know the range to know the full diagonals so let's use the range output and use the separate xyz node again so as i said i want to divide our desired length by this so let's just take our half a meter and search for divide node and we want to divide this value by the x value and let's duplicate divide node and let's plug the second value and the y output now we want it to combine it back to vector so let's use combine xyz and let's plug it at as our scale so as you can see everything works perfectly now we have our instances so let's just frame it and let's call it base instance so now we can use the instance on point node so let's search for it and this will be our instance and here are our points so as you can see we have the wrong rotation now so let's just rotate our instances around the y-axis by 90 degrees so as you can see our instance is a little bit too small and this is because our size of the facade isn't exactly perfect if i turn off the modifier as you can see it's not the multiplication of 1.5 or half and we can fix it actually pretty easily by just using merge by distance node and realize instances so let's set realize instances and let's add merge by distance node let's increase threshold a little bit and as you can see now everything is connected but the problem is now that we don't actually have the full geometry and we can fix it pretty easily by just adding more points to our instance on points here so we need to create more points actually the points in the middle of these rectangles and we can do this with just three nodes so let's just add them first we want to extrude using extrude mesh node with offset scale set to zero now we want scale scale elements only the top part to the scale of zero as you can see thanks to that we are creating the middle point and now we just need to merge by distance because currently here we have four points in one place so with this new point geometry let's plug it to our instance on point and as you can see now we have perfect divide geometry in our diagonal pattern okay so let's frame it and call instancing and now let's go to the last part which is to create the thickness so let's add another extrusion node with just a little bit of offset and that's another scale elements node and connect top to selection let's change the direction to minus and now i'd like to scale more on the bottom than on the top so i would like to basically connect the scale factor to our position so let's add position node and separate xyz if i connect the z output as you can see it 
kinda works, but it's too much. So we need to map this to the range from 0 to 1. And we can do that with another attribute statistic node. So let's add one and let's connect our Z to our attribute statistic. Now we have the output minimum and maximum and we also have our value. So let's just take our Z and use map range node. And now we want map range from minimum and from maximum to 0 to 1. If I plug it now, as you can see we have exactly opposite effect, but we can just uh, invert here and now we have bigger scale in the bottom and smaller in the top. If you want even more control, we can add color ramp. And now we have total control over openings. If I change the color from white to something more like gray, as you can see, the bigger openings aren't too big, which is perfect. Now I would like to create actual opening, so let's create a delete node. And we only want to delete the top faces. Let's change point to face. And the last thing is to actually add some thickness, because it currently looks like that. And to add the thickness, we can just duplicate our extrusion. We want to extrude in X direction, so let's use vector with value of 1 in X direction. And to actually close the geometry from the back, let's add join geometry node. Let's use merge by distance. And now let's check the face orientation. And as you can see, we need to invert it. So let's add flip face node. Okay. So we can control the thickness of our structure here. And this is basically it. If you want to set, set up a material, let's just add set material node and choose some material. Let's frame it and let's call it final geometry. Okay. So this is basically it for our parametric facade. If you want to animate, you can play with map range node at color ramp, but this is basically everything you need to know to create something like that. If you want to change the shape, as you can see, you can just play with this in edit mode and everything work as expected. So this is the joy of proceduralism. And as you can see, it's really flexible geometry node system to create complex facade of building really easily. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you learned something new. If you want to grab the final file, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, you can check my Blender add-ons, links in the description. And thanks again for watching and see you again soon. Bye.